everyone. Welcome to Daily Hope. We are in the final two chapters of the book of Esther, this amazing story of God's faithfulness to work on behalf of his people, even in the face of an overpowering enemy. We're going to pick it up in chapter 9, verse 1. On the 13th day of the 12th month, the month of Adar, the edict commanded by the king was to be carried out. On this day, the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them. But now the tables were turned, and the Jews got the upper hand over those who hated them. God is the one who turns the table on our enemies. When it looks like our enemies have won, when we feel overcome and discouraged and overpowered, God will turn it around. Psalm 23, even when I walk through the darkest valley, I'll not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. That's what God's doing here. This is a huge theme in the Bible. God is going to turn the tables on your enemies. But first, who is your enemy? I think, honestly, it could be that there's a person who is set against you, someone who is slandering you, speaking ill of you, causing you pain and grief, overlooking you, discouraging you. It could also be a circumstance that is overpowering you in your life, like a storm that you just can't seem to get out of. Or there could be some evil in the world, sickness, sin, or injustice. The question is, how do we overcome our enemy when we are overpowered? That's what the Bible is constantly bringing us back to, these moments where the people of God are outmatched. Remember the Jews when they were trapped against the Red Sea and Pharaoh's marching in with his whole Calvary. Remember when Jesus was on the cross, crucified, dead and buried, and it looked like all hope was lost. God is the one who turns the tables on our enemies. In Esther, we see it like this. We see that God inspired and mobilized Mordecai and Esther, and he positioned them into a place of influence to speak on behalf of the people of God. What did they do? They were willing to fast, and they were willing to pray, and they were willing to take courageous action where God gave them opportunity. And that really is like kind of the essence of their role. And that's the essence of our role. They fast, they pray, and they take courageous action where God gives them opportunity. And the rest is on God. Now that's really important for us. This is all about the way that God is faithful to turn the tables on our behalf against our enemies. Right? So even though Esther is in this position of power and influence, get this. It's God who put her there. It's God who gives her favor with the king. That's not something the people, the Jewish people could have orchestrated. It's not something really that Esther sort of uh, manufactured. She was one out of like what thousands of women. God gave her that favor. Number two, in this, in chapter six, we see it's God who reminds more, uh, King Xerxes of Mordecai's faithfulness and restores the favor that Mordecai has with the king, which eventually leads to Haman's fall. We know that God is working the behind the scenes on our behalf. He is putting people in position who will give us favor with where we need to be going in life. God is doing that for you. He is looking out for you in ways that you can't see yet. It looks like your enemy has won. But God's the one who turns the tables on our enemies. So what do we do? What's our job? Well, I love this picture that we get from Esther and Mordecai. We're to trust God and we're to take courageous action where we can. Because ultimately, our enemy is not flesh and blood. Listen to this. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, we get this. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God. So how do we overcome our ultimate and greatest enemy? We overcome evil with good. That is the lesson of Esther and Mordecai. What they don't do, they don't plan and conspire against King Xerxes and come up with some kind of revolutionary, rebellious, plot to organize all the Jews to fight against the king, and they don't orchestrate an assassination plot against Haman. What they do do, though, is they pray, they fast, and they use the places of influence that God's given them in a righteous and holy way. The result is they overcome evil with good. Look at this, Romans 12, 21. 
Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Where are you facing an enemy? Don't try to overcome evil with evil. Trust, pray, take courageous action, and know that God is working behind the scenes in ways that you can't see to turn the tables in your favor. God bless you. Have a good week. Thank you.